You are now required to record from observation within your identity project. This is assessment objective number three. You've already taken some photographs, presented a contact sheet, and then you should have edited and enlarged six, at least six of your favourite photographs and presented them on a double page. Don't worry if you haven't got access to a printer. Um, we can do this at school um, if needs be at a later date. Just make sure that you've got some pages free to present your photographs. Now, this task um, is for you to complete a sustained A4 pencil observational drawing of a relevant object or objects related to your theme. This could be drawn from a primary source, so from first hand, an actual object or something in front of you, or secondary source. So this is from an image, a photograph that you may have taken. And this should take two hours, so please sustain this drawing. Now, how can you make a skillful and sustained drawing? First, you must map out the proportions. So the proportions are the relationship of the size of one element when compared to another. So for example, if you were to draw a hand, you would make sure that the fingernails, for example, were in proportion to the actual fingers. You don't want your nails to be the same size as your fingers, therefore it would be out of proportion. Now, mapping out the proportions should take you between five and 10 minutes. Make sure you get this correct before you go on to stage two. So next stage, draw out the shapes that you see. Observe both the positive, so the actual object, the actual thing that you're drawing, and the negative shape, so the shapes around the positive shapes. And make sure you draw lightly. Now this should take you between 15 to 20 minutes. Ensure you have a really sharp pencil when doing this and if you are drawing lightly then you can rub out any mistakes. Please get this correct before you go on to stage three. You are now required to add tonal shading using the edge of a very sharp pencil. Make sure you squint at your objects or the image that you're working from to identify those dark to mid to light tones. Use a rubber for shiny or reflective areas. Now this should take you between 40 to 50 minutes. Get this correct before you go on to the next stage. Stage four, the finer detail. Now you would need to add perhaps mark making, for example if you were drawing from a teddy bear, you would be doing little dashes to bring out the character of the fur of the teddy bear. If you were drawing from a guitar, for example, you can see a guitar drawing on here. The last thing that you would draw would be things like the sinuous, the grainy line within the wood. So this should take you between 30 to 40 minutes. Then lastly, the shadow. Use the edge of a sharp pencil and use your finger or a cotton bud to smudge. Remember, shadows do not have outlines. They have soft edges. This should take you between five to 10 minutes. Now here's some tips on the execution of your drawing. You may want to use a viewfinder over an area of your objects or object or over an area of your photograph or image to find interesting compositions. Now here's some images of some examples of some viewfinders. The first one on the left hand side is a square viewfinder. The second one is a rectangular viewfinder but it's portrait. The third one is another rectangular viewfinder but it's landscape. Please make sure that you have the orientation of your paper that you're drawing onto in the correct orientation, i.e. portrait or landscape. If you're drawing on a separate piece of paper, then make sure it's good quality. quality. So cartridge paper, this is the type of paper that you have in your sketchbook. 
Use a combination of two 2B to 6B pencils, or you might want to use your graphite pencil that you were given in your art pack. So the higher the number, the softer the lead is, the graphite is, so the darker it will be. You will need to present your recording after your contacts and your photographs, edited photographs. Do not over decorate your page, just a little title and a amount uh, amount your work uh, with, um, with black paper if you can. Now the success criteria, the self-assessment is at the bottom of this document so you can see how well you have drawn your object or objects. And um, also uh, you'll be able to watch a YouTube clip on tips on how to shade with a pencil with skill. Now this is also on a task sheet, which is a Word document, which is also available for you on Show My Homework, along with this PowerPoint. Here are some examples of students' recordings. The top left hand one, uh, a student would have taken a photograph of a guitar. They would have used a, a viewfinder to lay on top of that image. The viewfinder would have been portrait orientation. The one next to it of the figure, um, the student would have had a photograph that they took and they laid a viewfinder um, in a landscape orientation and then recorded from that photograph the view that they, they saw. And there's excellent, exceptional attention to tonal shading and which really brings out the form and superb attention to finer detail within the skin. This student would have achieved a grade eight Bottom left hand corner, uh, the student recorded um, a profile of a person, uh, lovely attention to detail within the hair and some subtle attention to tonal shading within the skin. The one next to that, the lipstick drawing, shows good tonal shading qualities with um, good reflective uh, qualities shown using a rubber for shiny reflective areas and also a soft shadow to also bring out the lipstick and the form. The bottom right hand recording is a strange looking object. It's actually a toaster, but it's actually got a, um, a reflection of a person within that toaster. So that's quite a complex object um, to draw from or a complex image to draw from. Lovely attention to tonal shading and lovely attention uh, of detail within the dials at the bottom of the toaster. Now the top right hand recording shows three toy soldiers. One's been painted um, using acrylic paint, light to medium tones of, of green to bring out the form. The middle one is done with pencil or graphite and the third one was done with biro but the biro has been used on top of a background that has been prepared and this was done with tissue paper and the way in which the layers of tissue paper are presented it almost gives the impression of camouflage so that reflects um, the theme of perhaps war or the idea of these um, soldiers um, in, their in the army and the camouflage that they would use within um, their environment so you might want to think about a background to record onto and I'm happy for you to use biro as well um, but using mark making to bring out form to create tone and also the biro would be used for finer detail as well. For your next recording, your second recording, I want you to dig deeper and challenge yourself. So you're going to be recording from observation using this time a combination of media techniques and processes. This is assessment objective number two, experimenting and assessment objective number three, recording. This should take you three hours to complete. So the task will be for you to make an A4 sustained recording using a minimum of two mediums, so materials and techniques. These should be a combination of wet and dry materials, for example, watercolour and biro. Make sure you record uh, from a different image 
or something from first hand. Consider using a different viewpoint, so close up or the whole image. Make sure it's different from your first recording. How will the orientation uh, differ from your first recording? So consider landscape, portrait, square orientation for this second recording. Please always remember to do the following. So firstly, map out your proportions, so the relationship of the size of one element when compared to another. That's going to take you between five to ten minutes. Secondly, you will then draw the shapes that you see, but make sure you observe both the positive and the negative shapes and make sure you draw lightly. This should take between 15 to 20 minutes. You then add whatever wet and dry media, which will bring out the tone and detail of your image, of your object, whatever it is you're recording from. Think carefully about what materials you will use to bring out the visual qualities of whatever it is you're recording from. Make sure that the wet media you use, so for example watercolour or ink, is dry before you apply the dry media. For example, the dry media could be pencil or biro. I've attached some examples on the next slide. Now you may want to challenge yourself and dig deeper. I know lots of you will want to challenge yourself, so you may want to consider mixing together dry and wet materials for more variety of visual and co uh, complex effects. Um, the first one, the mushroom um, drawing, um, your recording can be done on cartridge or sugar paper. It could have a layer of kind of uneven emulsion paint in the background before you record onto it. It just gives more of a, a textural kind of uneven background to then record onto if that's the effect that you want to create. For your recorded object, you could use coffee granules, diluted, giving different strengths for different tones, and then pencil for detail, perhaps. The one on the bottom left hand corner, the zoomed in close up flower, was done using watercolour, uh, adding more water for lighter areas and biro for finer detail. You may want to use coffee stained paper like the one that's been recorded on the right hand side the teapot so coffee stain paper and emulsion to paint the actual object biro for tone or ink for tone and then biro for detail black ink for shadow now this these techniques these materials were similar was a similar process to what you did when you recorded your skull drawing in the beginning of year 12 for your natural forms project so you might want to pursue that one again i'd like you now to do a self-assessment of your recording this also shows the success criteria um, what i've asked you to do is broken down in stages on the left hand side and i'd like you to tick the appropriate boxes you will then give like an average grade. So if I just explain to you that a student who is exceptional, you can see at the bottom there, you'd be a grade eight or nine. If you're a student that is highly developed, you'll be grading yourself a seven. If you are consistent in the recording or very good in your recording, then you'll be awarding yourself a grade six. And then it moves over to the mostly. So generally consistent, good skills, growing skills. Then you'd be a grade five student, still in the mostly section, is moderate to satisfactory skills, and that would be a grade four. And then towards the end, some, none, some or basic skills would be a grade three. And then a student who is getting a grade two or a grade one is minimal. I'm hoping nobody will be getting a grade one or two. OK, folks, good luck with your recording. I look forward to receiving them and giving you back, uh, giving you some feedback. Take care. Bye bye.